hi everybody on my channel welcome back and i would love to share with you a dream that i had a few months ago and uh, the dream was all about i would say the, the man of lawlessness the man of sin or the antichrist uh, some people would say and i did not understand um the dream just now i'm i'm kind of thinking what it could be what the meaning would be and i'm not sure if this has to do with the revelation or it is specific for us uh individuals to stay away from sin so jesus please help me to speak i pray amen so in the dream uh, while i was having the dream i i was listening an audiobook uh, from the bible which is wisdom the book of wisdom and i fell asleep and then i had this vivid dream that got stuck with me so in the dream i was in a i was like underground somewhere with other people terrified running away um we knew that he was coming we were like in a place that was huge it was like um underground tunnel or something like this so we were there me and other girls other people first i saw other people then uh we went into another room because he came and um me and other young girls we were there and he wanted us and there was a man and uh, he took whoever he wanted and we didn't have a choice right so i tried to escape but he i couldn't escape him he was so evil he looked at me and with his eyes he was so evil like you could tell by his eyes he's like you cannot escape me i know like there's no escape from me and uh, he was very evil there was a man and he was the man of lawlessness he was the man of sin right that's what i knew inside my heart and he took me he demanded of me he took me and he said he's gonna punish me because i tried to escape so he pulled me under the water together with him and i was in my dream i felt like i was under the water trying to grasp for air and then the last second he released me and he had this dirty laugh at his face and uh and i was gasping for air and i knew that it would be so hard to escape it was almost impossible the other girls were terrified they were abused by this uh man so then somehow i saw myself that i went down the mountain which was covered with snow and i somehow i escaped this guy i escaped and i hid myself and and i escaped and i saw there was a mountain and there were it was winter time and everybody was skiing and having fun and no, nobody was realizing what was going on but then an old woman i think a widow took me in her house old small house and i was helping her out and i knew it was i was safe but then i felt so guilty and bad because i knew the other girls are still there the other people are still there and i have to do something so i looked out again and i saw the the man of lawlessness right the other another girl tried to escape and she almost did and i went up the mountain to try to help her but he got her and he had again this evil smile on his face and i felt so bad because it was almost impossible to escape this man so i went back to the house i was helping the woman i felt safe and then out of a sudden the door opened and from far away i saw the guy standing he was handsome he was his face was face structure he was strong and his face structure was very like sharp right and um he, he was far away standing in the middle and he had an army around him like followers of people around him right but just men 
and he just looked at me like he knew me like I like he knows what's going on like like if he would stand his eyes he would know everything about you like he knew like he knew everything I, I don't know how to explain this but he was so evil you could tell but no but you could just tell by his eyes the way he looked that you could not escape from him and that he was super evil and he knew that his time was short almost up but he 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 wanted to take as many as possible with him and then he stared at me i was terrified and then out of the sudden i knew the time was up and a bomb went up he had the smile before he went the bomb exploded and he, everybody, every, like the guy died in the bomb. Like he, it was like he suicided or something. I don't know. Somebody pushed the bomb and the whole thing exploded. And they were all gone, those people. And that was the end of the dream. I'm going to be honest. I was not sure till now if this dream is just for me. If this dream is for everybody. But I want to make sure that I share it with you guys. Maybe, you know, maybe this is uh, a kind of a revelation that God gave me. Maybe this dream is just for me. I do not know. Maybe it is a warning for us Christians that we have to be very careful. Because this, um, this sin can pull us. Even if we think we are, we are fine and everything, but we do not repent of our sins, we can still go under the water with the other people, that, the worldly people that they have no idea. And we cannot forget, forget, forget that it is good versus evil, okay? You're either on the good side or on the evil side. You can be between. You can do one day be in the world and sin, and the other day you can just, you know follow God for a little bit or say oh I will repent tomorrow I will do this tomorrow it doesn't work this way because this man has power Satan has power don't don't forget about this he's a deceiver he's a liar he knows you he's he's um he's he's um studying you he's following you he's just looking that he can devour you he's just looking for an entrance he, he's trying to get your family, your, your friends, everybody around you to go with him into hell. Like he took me, I, I do believe that he took me because of one little stupid sin that I was thinking. It's not really a sin, it's a small baby sin. I do believe that's why he, he had the power over me because of one little thing to put me under the water, to pull me with him under the water. One little stupid thing okay that you think it's so tiny like i don't need to repent of it but once you know uh, satan has you in his his uh, hands and then it's almost impossible to escape that's why christians you have to walk by the spirit and then ask jesus to help you to crucify your flesh fleshly desires and repent daily from your sins no matter how big or small they are okay repent from the sins turn back to jesus turn back to god and like and I said in my other videos, even Christians can go to hell. It's not once safe, always safe. We still have to repent daily if we find ourselves in sin. Okay? The Spirit will draw us nearer. Uh, and if you ask Him, He will show you where's your sin, you know? Okay. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you, love. Bye.